again eh, to lower the larynx it's not in the silent siren it's not uh, because the larynx goes up it's mm -hmm. not okay you should try to really let it go let it fall so you can think about a dark italian ooh. Mm -hmm. also here and it's not mm -hmm. So that you learn to lower your larynx and that you learn slowly, slowly, slowly mm -hmm. to train the muscles to uh, to open, to make space. Mm -hmm. And if you are able to do this, which is actually necessary in classical singing to sing with a bit a lower larynx, a tiny bit, uh, you will get harmonics because your flute, mm -hmm. your instrument is longer. So. Uh, Better, better. Do you hear it? Uh, because you were used a bit to sing with high larynx, so the sound was always like, oh my god, I have a cobra. Yeah. And also, it makes very tired, yeah. very tired. Okay. No? Yeah. So it's the other way around. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah? And then you train your system, your brain, your ear, your muscles, everything. And then this slowly, slowly comes then. In, in your repertoire, in your arias, in your singing, yeah? Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Clear? Yeah. Not difficult. Mm -hmm. This is not difficult, but mm -hmm. it's a work to be done. You have to learn this. Uh huh. You have to train. Yeah? Yeah? yeah. Besser? Mm -hmm. Has es gespürt? Yes. Yeah, and man hört es. Man hört es auch vom Klang. Mm -hmm. So you can also recognize this from the kind of sound. Huh? Okay. And, mm -hmm. and at, at, at once, one day, it will be an, an automatic pilot and it will be very comfortable when you sing because you will sing with the lower larynx and not with a cobra. Yeah, okay. This mm -hmm. is the, the way to yeah. do it so, with the silent mm -hmm. siren, for example. Mm -hmm. Already there yeah. we can train this. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. 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 yeah.